Hey everyone on YouTube! God, how long has it been since I actually did something where it was worthwhile? Hmm. I don't really remember, but um, I guess you could kind of say I'm more of a PC Let's Player since I don't really have a great recorder for any of my systems, even though I have an Xbox 360, a PS3, and a Nintendo Wii, but I don't have like a Dazzle or anything like that. Maybe when I move out of my parents house but um welcome to fatal hearts uh, a PC game that I stumbled upon once upon a time and found a sneaky download of it I shall say um I guess you could say it's sort of anime-ish with like vampires and werewolves and I know what you're thinking oh god not Twilight I promise you it's not that it's kind of like a puzzle game and so on and so forth um but, I don't know, I thought it might, it might be fun. Uh, maybe I'll ask my boyfriend if he wants to do some recording with me or something. But for now, it's just me, so uh, let's get started. Voice outside. Open up, you've been in there for ages. Oh. Just a minute. Oh, she looks depressed and... <laughs> What's with her eyes? <laughs> okay. Lucy's mother has much better makeup than mine does. My name is Christina. I am 15 years old, 15 and a half. Ooh. I didn't know that when we were 15 we still did the and a half thing. And my mother still doesn't like me wearing makeup. She says when I get a job I can buy whatever I want, but as long as she's paying. That's probably why I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, Sad. Come on! I know you're gorgeous, but you can't just stare yourself all night. Or can you? I am not. Come on, I want another match. I'll be the guy with the axe and you be the girl with the fan. Let's play. Oh, what is this, Mortal Kombat or something? Neither of us are, are neither of us is really good at these fighting games. I'm sorry. It should be neither of us are really good at these fighting games. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I find a move that works like this uppercut and keep doing it over and over again. I, I do that too. Lucy keeps trying to set up complicated super moves and ignoring little things. Blazing flower? Holy punch! That sounds like a manly move. So we both lose a lot and scream and giggle and then play again. Lucy's parents aren't home so we can make as much noise as we want. Oh, I love that. Actually, it's getting late. Shouldn't your parents be back now? By now? Where did they go? A piano concert? I think that was yesterday. The museum then, maybe? I don't know. They've been going out a lot this summer. I'm sure they'll be back eventually. I promised Mom I would be in my bed by midnight. Oh, in bed by midnight, not in my bed. They were supposed to drive me home. Sigh. Oh, sigh. This will be so much easier when I get a car. You could just spend the night, then you'd be in bed on time. No, I have to go home. Our houses aren't too far apart. I could walk home in, tw in about 20 minutes. Or I could call Mom and have her come pick me up, but she's probably gone to bed already. She won't fall asleep until I'm safely home, of course, but she won't be happy about going out. See, that's my mom. My mom actually doesn't fall asleep until all of her little chickies are home in her bed, because I have two older sisters, so yeah, we're her chickies. It'd be kind of weird if we were all boys, but never mind. I hate having to be driven around like a baby, but it's very late and very dark. Walk home. Be a girl. Be a man. It's a warm night with a clear sky. It won't be any trouble. I waved goodbye to Lucy and set out on my way. Even after dark, trapped heat from the summer sun still warms the pavement. It's so quiet. You never think about how much sound there is during the day until you're out here and it's all gone. Well, I guess that's true in a sense, if you kind of live in more of a busy area. I mean, I don't really live in a busy area. I kind of live in like a secluded suburban area. Uh, but I like how all these houses look the same, except for, like, these two are exactly the same. But this one, I like this one for the curved windows and so on and so forth. And the brown door really stands out to me. There's a car somewhere in the distance. There are insects chirping softly. Wouldn't that just be crickets chirping? Okay. The sounds of my shoes on the sidewalk. <coughs> what was that? Whoa! Uh, sorry about the strange noise, uh, since this is a kind of a... 
looped around download, I'll say. It likes to make weird noises when it's done playing the little sound effects like that, so I apologize if you just got scared or something or jumped out of your feet like I did, but okay. Uh, creepy. I'm sure it was just a lonely dog, but that sounded like I'd better hurry home. I unlocked the door and let myself in. Upstairs I can hear mom switching off her television set. Time for bed, then. I head upstairs and fall under my pillow. It's so late. Oh, Look at This looks like a five-year-old's room. And she's 15. Let's, let's explore. Um... I would say that's a head, and this is the person's hair, and that's their body, maybe. That's obviously a fairy, and that's a wizard. I don't know why she'd have a random thing of that, but... Super Robot Unicorn to Attack Anyone? <laughs> or whatever that game's called. I forget the proper name of it, but... I'm sure you guys are always... Or, always, what? Um, that looks like a teddy bear owl thing. Uh, that's weird. That's creepy, and that looks like a banana with a blue wig on. Banana blue wig man. Yay! I head upstairs and fall onto my pillow. It's so late. Oh, wait, I already read that. Sorry. Uh, easy to drift off into sleep. Dot, dot, dot. Floating. I know that I am dreaming. I'm falling through darkness, surrounded by stars. No, not stars. Lines, like spider webs, stretching across my vision. There's somewhere I'm supposed to go. Something I need to see. If I could just get the spider webs out of my way. To see instructions, move your mouse to the lower left corner of the screen and click on the cross and select puzzle information. Left click and drag the nodes to move the spider webs out of your way. But shoo! But shoo! Oh, bless me. Um, to see your dream clearly, all the webs must be around the outside of the screen, none crossing the center. Dark nodes cannot be moved. You must move the other nodes so that no white line crosses the center area of the screen. Honestly, that makes it sound really difficult, but all you really gotta do is move these white squares over here. And yes, I have played this game, but there are multiple endings. I think there's 14 in all. And, um, so I think the most endings I want to try and get is three. But depending on if this actually does well or not, um, I don't know. I'll see it, what I'll do, and depending on your guys' actions and stuff. But, yeah, this is a, I wouldn't even consider this really a puzzle. It's more just, like, moving shit. And sorry for the language. Um, I do tend to swear a little bit, but, uh, the web's clear, revealing a face. Uh, he's so blonde. Got to go to you. Who are you? Someone I know? I feel like I should know, like I've seen him before, somewhere. But it doesn't mean anything. It's only a dream. Yeah, right! <laughs> and title screen. That's the picture that's basically shown for each chapter segment, so we are now in chapter one, my friends. The next morning, I'm over at Lucy's again, and, um, I don't know, there's just random, really well-done pictures like these. Uh, I don't really consider this one all that well-done, because as an artist, I see a lot of misshapen things, but, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, there's different artists featured stuff and blah blah blah. Some are good, some aren't that great. This one's okay, but um, well let's continue. It's very convenient to have a best friend with a pool in her backyard. <gasps> That's the only reason why you're friends with her, you bitch. So what time did your parents finally get back? About one, I think. I was in bed already. Wow. I usually actually have in bed at one or two, so you're lame. I guess they forgot I had you over. They didn't even ask. Or maybe they just don't like me. What? Of course they like you. Why would you even say that? They barely see me. They haven't said hello to me today. Who cares? Honestly, that's just because they aren't up yet. Yeah, I float on my back in the water staring up at the summer sky. No, you're running through the pool just like she is and she's splashing you with water. 
In the late morning sun, the world seems enormous and bright. Lucy sits on the edge and kicks her feet idly in the water. What do you want for the future? I don't know. What everybody wants, I guess. A good job, a nice house. What kind of job do you want? Now this, I always kind of answer artistically. Um, see how the writer has been used before? Um, I usually just go with writer because it's the most creative one. Banker, flight attendant, teacher. Uh, I would go with teacher as the second best. Uh, Banker is third best, and flight attendant is fourth. Just like out of like fulfilling, maybe. But I don't know. I like to write stuff, so I'd like to be a writer or an artist, something creative. See, that's why I do it because I am kind of an artist. Uh, what do you write? Um, I've written some poetry. Can I read it? No. Well, you're not going to get very far as a writer if you don't let people read what you write. I'm not ready to be a famous artist yet. I need time to practice. What do you want to be? My parents are more worried about marrying me off than getting me a career. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> Married? Mm-hmm. She sighs. Wow, even in this day and age, huh? What's most important in a relationship to you? Uh, well, in my relationship, it really is more about personality. Uh... So I would have to say the romance, again. Love is the most important thing, of course. I would never want to be trapped with someone I didn't love. And whatever problems we had, as long as we were in love, we could always make it through. Lucy sighs. Well, what do you think? What do you want in a man? I don't want anything in a man. I mean, I don't imagine some perfect man. The people I fall in love with will be special for themselves. Love isn't something you can plan for. It just happens whether you like it or not. Totally true. Then why did you ask me? Silly. My stomach grumbles quietly. Mmm, is it lunchtime yet? Help yourself to a snack if you want. I get out of the pool, drive myself off, and head for the kitchen. There must be something to eat around here. Lucy is hopeless in the kitchen. She never looks much further than macaroni and cheese. I'll poke around and see what I can find. Okay, um... You can look at lots of stuff. Uh, Lucy's parents must be on a health food kick. The fridge is full of strange juices and tofu. I wasn't done reading. Biatch. Several wine bottles are stored here in the center island. A shallow grill under the cooktop can be used to toast sandwiches. There are two ovens along the wall. Uh, the telephone looks all very old-fashioned, but it's really modern. It has digital buttons and caller ID. You know, that actually looks like a cool phone, but what you really need to do is just go over here and you find cookies. Because apparently that satisfies, satisfy, satisfies Christina's lunch urges. As I finish looking around, I notice something lying on the counter. What an odd-looking book! But the children love the books. It's all locked up like a diary. Maybe it's Lucy's. I shouldn't peek, but it wouldn't hurt to see if I could figure out how to open it, right? <gasps> naughty, naughty, naughty. This isn't really that hard either. There are some puzzles that stump me, but uh, I believe this is how this one goes. Oh, whoops. You just basically gotta twist these so that they match each other. Oh, there we go. I already got it. <laughs> cool. There, it clicked. Now, it clicked open. Now, just a quite quick peek. I'm sorry, I cannot read. What is this? Uh, it looks like cultists. I can't read a word of it. I guess her secrets are safe. Someone's coming. Gasp. I close the book and push it away from me. Oh, it's Lucy's parents. What's wrong with them? Like, honestly, why do they wear sunglasses? I'll never know. I smile at them and try to be friendly. Good morning. Christina, are you still here? She seems tired and distracted. I came over today to swim with Lucy. Yes, you two have a nice day swimming. Lucy's father picks up the book from the counter. Goodbye. They go out the door. I guess we're alone again. Did I just hear a car? That was your parents leaving. What? They didn't even say goodbye? When will they be back? I don't know. I guess they must have been in a hurry. I'm sure that whatever they're doing is important. They're really strange lately. They never have time for me. My parents have always been busy people, but we used to talk more. I hope my father isn't having money problems. That would explain why they don't want to tell me. Or maybe they're just working on plans for my birthday. Oh, it's always all about you, isn't it? You pink-haired, froofy bitch. Your birthday isn't for months yet. 
It's never too early to start making plans. Yep, it's all about you. Especially if they want to get me the best possible car. Wow, definitely all about you. Maybe. Phone rings, like we did not hear that. Oops, you'd better get that. Hello? Hello? She hangs up the phone. Arg! Prank call? I don't know. The line was connected, but nobody's there. 